This is all the precursor to the follow-up that we kind of tripped into yesterday. Proven versus unproven quarterbacks. Because we did the draft of unproven quarterbacks with the highest expectations. And for some, it's like, well, does this guy count as proven or unproven? Let's start with Tua Tonga Vailoa. Because you and I both wrestled with that. Right. And we're very sensitive to the very strong pro Tua component out there that believes he's just an MVP waiting to happen. And if he could just play all 17 games, they would go to the Super Bowl and they would win it. And, and maybe they're right. I don't know. Is he proven in your eyes or is he unproven? I, he, he's a tough one. I, I, I do. I think he's like what I would really want to say if I was to add context to it is go. He's. I guess technically still unproven, but on the verge of being proven. It's very close, right? I'd like to see a little more. I think there can be some questions still about the play on the field a little. Like we saw, you know, later in the season when teams started to get a, get a feel for their offense a little bit. Somebody finally put, put, put out a blueprint on, hey, do this, and you can make life, you know, hard on the Miami Dolphins whether it was the Chargers and some of the things the 49ers did. The 49ers game, hey, there was people open in that game and big plays to be had, and they took away some of the easy throws, and he didn't hit some of those throws. So that's where I just go between, you know, just wanting to see a little more on the field and, yeah, more on Tua rather than Mike McDaniel setting it up all the time just to make it real easy. And I, I think the, you know, staying healthy part of it, too, goes into that conversation as well. So I'm going to say unproven, but, man, he's on the cusp of being proven. It's very close. There's some strong circumstantial evidence that I think supports the idea that he's unproven. This takes me back to my lawyer days. Yeah. I just thought of this as we were having this conversation. He was drafted in 2000. Yes, that's what, this he's is part of it, too. Three NFL seasons. Right. Three NFL seasons. Yeah. Now, Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert, they're instantly in the conversation. When are they going to get their next contract? It's just a matter of time. They'll surely have it before the season starts. Nobody's saying that about Tua. Right. Nobody's saying, what are the Dolphins doing? Where's his new contract? Nobody's clamoring That's for a great Tua point, to get his Mike. new contract. That's right. And, and we discussed previously, the picking up of the fifth-year option may have had some – Take the pressure off Tua. Un right. Right. We, we, right. We don't want him to spend the year thinking we don't want him. Because we've already been through the Tua thinks we don't want him phase, and it didn't go well for anybody. So we need to support him. We need to show him that we believe in him as he tries to get himself to a point where he can stay healthy, as he tries to prove himself in all ways. We know when he's healthy and when he's on the field – he can run the offense the way we need him to, and he can be very effective, and he can be potentially a franchise quarterback. Yeah. But we can't have him spending the 2023 season thinking the whole time, I don't think they want me. I don't think they want me. Because we've seen how he plays when he has those doubts. Now, now, is that the level of mental toughness you need to be successful at the quarterback position over the long haul? That's a different discussion altogether. They're trying to get the most out of him this year. And the way to get the most out of him this year is to make the investment next year. Yeah. So he knows he's taken care of this year. Yeah. And they want him next year, too. Next year, they'll worry about long-term contract. They'll worry about figuring something out for this That's year. They just needed that that right. carrot, that, that olive branch, that peace offering, that tangible gesture that shows Tua they're not having doubts they're not waffling. They're not treating him like Daniel Jones. They know they want him. I feel like that's why they did it, not because of the football abilities and the ability to stay on the field. So for those reasons, I think he's unproven. Yeah. The biggest one, though, is no one's saying when's Tua getting his contract. I agree. If he was proven, right. we all would We be. would already be doing it. That, that's probably the point of it, right? Yeah, I, I think we're, we're both like last year he started down the path of proving himself, but it was one year, and he was hurt and missed time. And there's things to worry about there. And let's not forget, too, like you're, like you're saying, you know, the other guys you mentioned, they proved themselves in their rookie year right away. You know, we go back into Tua's history. This is stuff he has told us. I mean, one, he was splitting time with other quarterbacks and dealing with that. Two, last year, I mean, that was he let us all know before the season that he wasn't handling things like a professional. 
and doing the little things that needed to be done to be successful as a quarterback. So, yeah, I can't say he's unproven. Like, I mean, not proven yet. He's, he's, he's getting close, but I got to see a little bit more quality play for sustained time this year to start saying that. Remember he admitted two years ago that when he was a rookie, one of the reasons they were putting Ryan Fitzpatrick in in certain key moments that, is he didn't know no, the No, the two-minute offense and the audibles, right? Yeah, he, didn't, he wasn't able to run it, so right. they went with Ryan Fitzpatrick instead. That's why they were doing it, not because mm -hmm. they didn't have faith in his abilities. He didn't have faith in his ability to go out and run the offense. So well, why not? And and all that talk last year about all the things he's doing pregame, right. all the stuff. Yeah, he wasn't doing it before. Exactly. Right. So it's part of the development, exactly. but he still has to punch through. He yep. has to punch through that ceiling. The key this year, as we know, is durability. And he's either going to be able to avoid the hits that cause his helmet to strike the turf or he's not. We'll see. It's one of the one of the great mysteries of the 2023 season. All right, Derek Carr. It's weird to put him in this category. Is he proven or is he unproven? I mean, if he was proven, the Raiders – look, when you have a proven franchise quarterback, you never let him go. The fact that the Raiders let him go – Makes you wonder whether he's proven. But then the Saints clamored to get him. Do you call him unproven? I don't know. Where does he fall for you? I, I'm going to say he's he's proven to me. I think with Derek Carr, the question is, you know, how good is he? How is he, you know, is he a big-time, legitimate franchise quarterback? Or is he a guy now that, okay, yeah, he holds down the fort for a year or two or whatever? I do think he's proven, though. He's proven that he's a starting caliber quarterback in the NFL, that he can do a lot of good things in the pocket, make decisions. He's had moments and stretches of being clutch in the fourth quarter. Yeah, last year it didn't work. It was a different in, difference, I think, in philosophy and coaching and, and everything, let alone it's a new regime that's like, hey, wait, we'd like to start this you know era of, with, with, with a quarterback that we can formulate the right way, like Gruden was doing to Derek Carr a little bit. So they, they want their own, you know, their own artiste at quarterback. But I do think he's proven. Now, we can – how good he is, you know, how much he should be paid. Does he deserve to be, you know, on a short list of star quarterbacks? That I think is debatable. But I, I do think he's proven at this point in his career. I think that's the key. He is who he is. Yes. He's reached his right. maximum level mm -hmm. of performance. He's Kirk Cousins proven, right? He is exactly what he is. And you know what you get, and can you put the team around him to allow his skill set to maximize your broader right. objectives? That's, that's right. the key. I think that's so well said. He's he's reached his ceiling. Right. He's he's re he's surpassed his floor. He's reached his ceiling. We know exactly who he is. We know what he is. Just like that that cut of mid range quarterbacks, non top ten guys. We know who they are. It's highly unlikely they're going to get any better. If they ever win a championship, it's going to be because it's going to be because they have a team around him that lifted him up like we've seen teams do in the past. Doesn't happen very often these days. Usually it takes a franchise quarterback, but you can't have a situation where a team lifts a guy up like the 49ers almost lifted Jimmy Garoppolo up a few years ago to a Super Bowl right. win. That can happen. That's that's the only way Derek Carr is getting his hands on a Lombardi trophy. It's not going to be because he comes out and has a 50 touchdown season or just suddenly just unlocks this franchise quarterback performance. He is who he is. So in that regard, I agree. He's proven. Yeah, I, I think so. You know, he, he's done a lot of good things in football. He's shown he can lead offenses. He's has been to the playoffs. I know it's only one time. It's technically two. He led another team to the playoffs too and broke his leg late in the year. So that's where he doesn't get the credit for that too. I think he's done enough to say he's proven, and you're right. It's just about, you know, where does he stand in the hierarchy of quarterbacks and on a given year can he get hot and and maybe make a few plays with a team that, like you said, has the right formula around him where he can push them over the top, and that's where I still think Derek Carr can. Yeah, he's not going to carry the squad, like you said, but he can still do a lot of things and, and be the general of the ship. Okay, next one, Geno Smith. Been in the NFL a long time. Yeah. He's in his 30s now. Right. Drafted in 2013. Right. Exiled from the Jets, bounced around as a backup, was in Seattle long enough to convince them that he had some potential if and when Russell Wilson moved on. He had one great year. His best year in the NFL by far. Is he proven or is he unproven? He's unproven. You, you, can't, I, you can't say one year just proves the guy – 
you know, is a legit franchise. Wait, we got our guy for the next for the foreseeable future. That 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 that's that to me is not reality in the NFL. It was a really good year. He showed the ability and the promise and the potential to be our proven starting quarterback here for some time. He showed that. But he's got to do that. You know, I got to see it more than once. Like, Mike, I got a lot of people who are like, wait, you put Russell Wilson over Geno Smith in your quarterback rankings. Well, yeah, okay. It's about how they rank overall, right? And we went just on last year. Okay, yeah, Geno played better than Russell Wilson. But Russell Wilson, the 10 years before that, was significantly better. I can't just erase that in totality and say, oh, Geno Smith's a better player than Russell Wilson now just because of one year, right? No, I can't. You know, there were some circumstances around that that led to both of those, and we'll see where it goes from here. But, yeah, as it stands right now, got the traits and the ability to be a proven starting quarterback, but just has to do it and show us. I can't just go off of one season. Well, and consider this. And if we're going to use circumstantial contractual evidence to support our case. There you go again, right. He was on track to become a free agent. Right. Let's presume his agents did their jobs and tampered or at least induced teams to tamper to find out what else may have been out there. Right. He could have forced his way to the franchise tag. I'm not sure the Seahawks would have used it because they can walk away from this current contract. They can rip it up with one year, $28 million. That's less by several million than what the franchise tag would have been. I hadn't thought of that before right now. If they can escape this after one year, $28 million, that tells me they weren't going to use the tag on him, and that tells me he wasn't going to find a better deal on the open market than what the Seahawks gave him. Three years, 105, great. Read the contract, one year, 28, and they can move on. He's not proven because the team that he's playing for doesn't regard him as proven. If they did, that contract would have greater guarantees than one year in 28. That's million. right. They got to see it too. They want to see it another year, you know? Geez, you know, even me had a decent year in one year. That didn't mean I was proven. If idiots like me can have a good year, then damn, anybody can. Even see? me. <laughs> even me had a decent year. Yes, you've just proved your point. Exactly. <laughs> so there you go. I can't even speak English, and I got had a decent year. All right, so. I'm it amazed <laughs> you were able to read the no gambling signs. You, I, made, I meant to insult you with that earlier. Hey, well, you're a you know. kid, and you're the locker room. You could actually read. Kid can't even read. I'm from New Jersey. I knew lots of vetoes. I know how to read. Read a gambling policy, okay? I know Vito and Gino and all of them, all right? So I know the gambling policy. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, you know, again, I like what I saw from Gino, certainly. He's got a lot there. But you're right. They would have paid him more. You know, they would have uh, not talked about maybe drafting a quarterback at pick number five if he was proven. And I still think there's a lot of people out there that think if Anthony Richardson was there, he they would have taken him. So, you know, I think those all point to he's not proven in our eyes or their eyes quite yet. Yeah, we weren't ready to sign on to that whole taking a quarterback at number five and making it all about the quarterback after you've finally gotten away from – it being all about Russell Wilson, but there are people who really do believe if he was there at five, the Seahawks would have pounced right. on Anthony Richardson. Kyler Murray, first overall pick in 2019. He's got the big contract. I mean, if we're going to use that circumstantial yeah. contractual evidence for others, you got to use it for him. Is he proven or is he unproven? I, I, I'm going to say proven. I am. I mean, Kyler Murray's got some special attributes. Kyler Murray, for my money, has had some years where – yeah, he was a top 10 quarterback in football, right? Now, we can all argue about how good he might be. Can he lead your team to the promised land, you know, at being 5'10"? And, and you know, can he deal with, like like we talked about when, when we broke him down during my quarterback rankings, you know, can he play under pressure against good playoff defenses who don't let him run and collapse the pocket and all that? Yeah, but I think as far as proven quarterback, hey, he's – proven that he has he's 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 a really talented he has some elite traits about him and yes I I am gonna say that he's a proven quarterback from that standpoint proven Super Bowl big time playoff like make runs that way okay we can debate we'll see he's gonna have to prove that part but he's certainly proven as far as a starting quarterback being able to lead a franchise and do some special things on the field that other people can't so that's where I lean towards proven I am going to say that he is proven, but that he still has plenty to prove. I got that's a good way to say it. I like that. Be, 
because he's already checked the box. He's gotten the second contract. He's coming off the torn ACL. And there's that lingering, self-inflicted, unforced error by the Cardinals, painting him as being a guy who doesn't work hard enough. I mean, he's got things to prove. He's got to prove he's healthy. He's got to prove he's committed. He's proven as a guy who was good enough to be regarded as one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Now what's he going to do with that? that he's kind of at, yeah. at, at, a, at a crossroads in his career. Agreed. Which way is this going to go? It's either going to go up or it's just going to fizzle out. Little, yeah. And he's yeah. going to be and he's going to be done in the next 4 or 5 years. I, I do think long. the standard for him is higher than the other guys we're talking about, right? That that's the other thing. Too. I think what we're, you know, he's a guy that we're going, wait, is it proven that he's a superstar and it does meet this contract? So I think it, it, it it's I don't think there's any doubt he's proven. But like to what you're saying, he was the number 1 pick in the draft. He won the Heisman. He, what we want is him to prove to us that he's in the class of, you know, Mahomes and Josh Allen and Burrow and those top quarterbacks in the sport, right? That's where I think we're talking about. So I think he's clearly proven as an NFL starting quarterback. It's just his expectations, I think, are, are higher than that himself and all of us as far as what we expect from him. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.